Hi everyone, today we'll try and find out which is the best fountain pen in my collection. The contenders are Moblong Writer's Edition Brothers Grimm, Pilot Custom Rushi, then we have another Moblong, this is Heritage Rouge et Noir, Sailor King of Pen, Moblong 149, Pelican M1000, Visconti Homo Sapiens, Pelican M800 and then there is this sailor uh, I have even forgotten the name of it but it was something something mini and it's it's an extra fine nib uh, then we also have waterman which is the only non gold nib pen that I have so how we will be ranking these pens it's going to be on the basis of smoothness which we've already seen that uh, pilot custom Urushi is the smoothest of the lot about feedback we know that feedback of sailor is very different very elegant it's a fun pen to write with then we also have softness softness is something where uh, too good is not good too less is also not good so it has to be the right amount uh, the same actually goes for feedback too too less feedback which usually you get from Pelican M1000 or uh, your custom Urushi is not that good whereas what you get from Moblanc uh, specifically Writer's Edition Brothers Grimm and from uh, Sailor King of Pen that's the good feedback. We will also look at the wetness of the nib, the grip size, ink capacity and the weight of the pen. Again sometimes too light is not too good and too heavy may also not be good for writing um, lengthier sessions and finally there is uh, another factor which we'll look into which is overall um, control that you can get over your writing so a lot of times the pen may be slippery smooth but it wouldn't give you the right uh, the, the amount of control that you would like in your writing so we we'll look at all those factors we we will score each pen on each factor out of 10 and then we'll find out which is the best pen in our collection. All right, so as many of you have pointed out that ink has its own effect of, uh, on how the pen writes, how smooth it is, etc, etc. Uh, what I'm trying to do over here is use the same ink on multiple pens. There are some pens which I've already filled up with other inks, so I will not be able to change the ink in those. But for the rest, we'll try and make the comparison as uh, as close as possible or as equal as possible. So the first one, first pen we have here, let's zoom. This is Moblanc Brothers Grimm. So uh, on rate on smoothness. I will actually rate this pen at 9. Feedback, again, it has a very healthy feedback. 9. Softness. Softness of the nib is again uh, uh, where you want it to be. I would actually rate it at 10. Witness again at 10. Grip size, as you can see. Uh, let me zoom in. Uh, let me try to focus. Grip size, as you can see, is really good. So again, on grip size, I will give this pen 9. Ink capacity, I actually haven't filled it up to the brim. But still, uh, the way it has written till now, I would give it 9. Weight, this has a lot of weight. So um, you cannot write lengthy sessions with this. I would actually give it uh, 6 or 7, uh, 6. Control wise, this pen, I believe, has uh, ample amount of control. So I would give it 9. Uh, we'll do the totals later on. The next pen in our list is Pilot Custom Urushi. So, Pilot Custom Urushi. In terms of smoothness, this is the smoothest pen I've ever tried. Feedback, it does not have any. And that necessarily is not what you want. So, I would give it 7. Softness, this is too soft. Um, the nib 
presses really easily and you have to be very careful so again i would give it seven over here wetness it's too wet so eight i would actually not prefer my pen to be this wet um, then in terms of grip size uh, this this has a hefty grip uh, this is more than uh, the circumference or thickness of moblong writer's edition so yeah uh, eight in grip size ink capacity is not as good as moblong or some other piston fillers so eight over here weight the pen is really light especially for its size so yeah that's that's a nine uh, too much too light a pen is also not that good and in terms of control uh, as i've said multiple times this pen is slippery smooth so i would actually give it uh, eight not nine or maybe even seven the next pen that we are going to try is another Moblong. This comes out of their Heritage Edition. And yeah, uh, this pen is, has also been a really good writer till now. Uh, and obviously, the cap of the pen is its best part. So, right, let's, uh, let's see how this rates. So you have another Moblong, sorry for the hard start. I haven't really filled it up for a long time, uh, but the pen is, uh, writes really well. Uh, and this is Rouge Ed Neuer. Uh, all the inks till now are actually Pilot Iro Shizuku, and uh, just there is a slight difference in color. Uh, smoothness wise, I will again say this is uh, eight or no, I'll also give this one a nine. Feedback wise, again, nine, it is as good as a writer as the Moblong Brothers Grimm. In terms of softness, uh, it's a bit harder than Moblong Brothers Grimm, uh, but you can put a lot of pressure on it uh, if you want to write uh, really fast. So I would give it 10. Wetness, again, it's, it's a pretty wet pen, but not overly wet, so I would give it 10. Grip size is a bit small, um, so the pen overall is really thin, so I would give it an 8. Ink capacity, it's, it's okay. It's not as much as some of the other pens I have. The weight, all the weight of this pen is in this nib, uh, sorry, in this uh, cap. So the pen feels pretty sturdy. Uh, it's not that light, but it's not much also. So this uh, here is an 8 and the control again is 9. The nib is short, which uh, essentially gives you a lot of control. Some of the larger nibs that I've used, um, I found out they do not provide you with that much of control. Whereas they are really soft nibs, I wouldn't take away anything from those nibs, but still. I do feel there is some more control they would uh, uh, I would love to have. Now coming to our next pen, it's Sailor King of Pen. Sailor King of Pen. Again, uh, I've just filled it up, so it's uh, it's pretty wet. It is not this much wet, so it's decent wet. Smoothness wise, it is again top notch. I would give it nine. Feedback. This has a different feedback, a pencil-like feedback. If I write with any other pen before or after this, I always find uh, this feedback to some... Uh, to, I, I find to like this more somehow. It transports you back into days when you used to write with pencil. Um, so I would give it a 10 over here. Softness-wise, this is a very soft nib, just like Pilot Custom Urushi. And at times I've felt it is too soft because... Uh, 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 it kind of, uh, uh, how do I put it? It does not remain stable. I have to uh, twist and turn this multiple times over last couple of years. So I would give it a seven over here. Uh, in terms of wetness, yeah, this is a really good pen, not overly wet. I would give it a nine. Grip size is decent. It's, it's actually almost, 
it's slightly larger than uh, the grip size of Moblong Brothers Grim, but it's not as much as Pilot Custom Urushi. At least it doesn't feel like. So I would again give it a uh, 9. In capacity is really low. So I would give this 7. Weight of the pen is perfect. Um, so here's a 9 for that. And the control. Yeah, you feel a lot of control with this pen. So somehow whenever I'm writing with this pen, my writing, um, it's just the best version of itself. So I would give it a 10 over here. Now the next pen that we are going to try, uh, again, it's another Moblong. So yeah, I have a few Moblongs in my collection and I'm planning to add a few more, especially based on some of the reviews I've gotten from you guys. There are some uh, great Moblongs out there. So here we have Moblong 149. Smoothness wise, okay, here's where it takes away most of its points. I would rate it at seven, maybe even six. Uh, let's take six. I don't really like this pen in terms of its smoothness. Uh, feedback, it has a lot of feedback, but it is harsh feedback. Sailor King of Pen also has a lot of feedback, but it is a very uh, uh, good feeling that it gives. Here, the feedback is just harsh. So I would give it another six. Softness, no, it is not a soft nib. It is a very hard nib, uh, more than anyone would like. So again, a six here, wetness. I believe wetness of this pen is good. So I would give it a nine. Grip size, again, it's almost similar to uh, some of the other pens here, Custom Urushi, Sailor King of Pen. So uh, actually a bit thicker than that. So I would give it eight. Ink capacity is really good. So this here goes to nine. Weight of the pen is great. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I would give it a nine over here, uh, control wise. Somehow, while it is not that smooth, it is having a lot of harsh feedback, it is not soft. Uh, the pen, uh, in terms of writing feeling or control, gives you a feeling that it, it's going to slip. I, I don't know why there's such a contrast uh, in terms of what I've told you here and here, but that's how I've been feeling. So I give this pen a seven somehow it does not give me a lot of control uh, when i'm writing with it uh, the next pen we have here is pelican m1000 so we have pelican m1000 and smoothness yeah this is extremely smooth 10 uh, feedback literally no feedback there is a slight feedback and it's all good so i would say eight softness extremely soft nib i don't like that seven um it's it's mainly because you you cannot put pressure you cannot write fast you might uh, even destroy your nib or cause harm to it in terms of wetness it's too much again a seven um in terms of grip size better than um, moblong 149 pilot custom urushi etc so this here is a nine in capacity of this pen is great i would give it uh, 10 weight of this pen again is very similar to king of pen uh, or uh, moblong 149 and i'm talking about the weight that i feel over here it's it's a bit uh, so king of pen sailor king of pen is the lightest moblong 149 after that and pelican over here is is a bit uh, uh, more weighty or heavier in terms of that so I would give it an 8 and in terms of control yeah it gives you decent enough control but not how much you want surely more than more blanc so here uh, I'll give it an 8 now uh, the next pen I have is Visconti homo sapiens but this is an extra fine nib so I am going to rate everything accordingly. Visconti Homo Sapiens. Oh, smoothness. 10 out of 10. I've never experienced such smoothness in such a slim nib. This is an extra fine and it is as smooth as any other pen over here. 
the feedback um yeah because it's an extra fine nib it is going to have more feedback i would give it nine uh because still it is better than uh, moblong 149 uh and whereas there's more feedback than pelican but it gives it's a decent feedback you'd love to have it from an extra fine nib in terms of nib softness uh, this is a hard nib but still not as hard as uh, moblong 149 so i would actually give it an eight over here it it is it is just the right mix of softness and hardness uh, and actually i should say hardness or softness over here the wetness of this pen for an extra fine really good i would give it a nine grip size it's kind of perfect just a wedge over here which uh which you can actually feel in some of the other pens you can't feel a wedge so here i would give it uh, mm, let's say an eight ink capacity is a lot um, but not as much as your pelican m1000 or moblong somehow it's it's a bit lesser than those again a nine weight most of the weight here is again in the cap the pen itself while it is heavier than almost all others except moblong brothers grim um, still doesn't feel that much heavy um, so i would give it an eight and control wise i can write pretty well with this uh, sometimes it gives a scratchy feeling so you may just you know put a bit of pressure and uh, your lines would go uh, more towards top or bottom or sides so, so that's one drawback of having uh, an extra fine nib but that's absolutely fine with it i'm fine with it so control wise again i would say this is a nine it's a really good pen and i'm planning to buy a fine or medium version of this pen the next one we have here uh, this is pelican m 800 in terms of smoothness this is a perfect pen 10 in terms of feedback again 10 i don't know this has uh, uh, this makes a sound um which you can hear but it feels really smooth in your hand while writing so it's it's a paradox or it's a contrast but it gives you a very different feeling softness this pen has a harder nib than m8 uh, m1000 but this is just as hard as you want a nib to be so here i would rate it as again 10 in terms of fitness that's a perfect 10 this pen is so perfect grip size again just perfect and i will uh, actually give this a 9 not not 10 ink capacity it holds a lot of ink so again mm, it's it's a bit lesser than pelican m1000 but as good as moblong brothers grim or even visconti homo sapiens a bit more than that so a 10 over here weight very light um but uh, the balance is a big bit towards the back i guess that's the only shortfall in terms of weight over here so again i'll give it a nine and in terms of control uh how would i put it i would say um, my writing with sailor king of pen is perfect and as is with this one you'll always feel in control with this pen i'm going to skip one of the pens which is an extra fine sailor pro gear gear mini version um this is just not good as anything else out there i'm now going to move towards the next pen which is a waterman and i don't even know its name i think it was waterman expert and i bought this about maybe 15 20 years ago so i never fill up fill it up so the hard start waterman expert this is a steel nib uh, right i'll have to refill it up a bit in terms of smoothness uh, this is remember steel nib i would give it a nine it is so smooth 
I've never felt as smooth as this pen actually made me fall in love. And there was another waterman, waterman which was given to me by one of my uncles. That uh, that waterman was from the 1970s. Unfortunately, I lost it uh, in 2004. Uh, it's been a long while, 20 years. But that pen was the one which made me fall in love with fountain pens, uh, especially waterman. And then uh, somewhere down the line, I bought this one. Uh, feedback it has more feedback than any of the gold nip pens so i would actually say this is a seven uh, softness this is a very hard nib steel nib so again seven but remember i'm comparing steel nib with gold nibs uh, wetness wise this pen is really good i would give it a nine uh, grip size is kind of perfect uh, especially i have small hands that's why so nine over here in capacity is okay so a seven over here in terms of weight it is really light um, somewhere uh, between pelican m1000 and sailor king of pen i would give it an eight um, and again because this this uh, has this is really light at the top and uh, a bit heavy towards uh, sorry a bit light towards the bottom and a bit heavy towards the top just like pelican m800 but um, not as good and in terms of uh, overall control i would give it an 8 but this is a steel nib 8 so it's as good as uh, a gold nib 10 yeah all right so here we have the totals and we have a clear winner which is Pelican M800 with 78 points. That's that's actually huge. This is 78 out of 80. So this this is an almost perfect pen, at least for me. Uh, this pen, this particular uh, uh, piece I am holding, this one is as close to perfect as is, as it can be. Uh, on the second rank we have a few of them or two of them and these are Moblong Brothers Grimm and another Moblong so Moblong's Brothers Grimm and Moblong Heritage Rouge et Noir uh, these two have a tie uh, well I when I write with the both of these I've, I've always felt uh, Moblong Brothers Grimm to be a bit better so I'm surprised to see that they both have the same scores maybe 70 71 uh, 71 being brothers grim would be more uh, what i would have expected not much of a difference just a slight difference but here's how it is uh, after that we have our sailor king of pen and visconti homo sapiens so let's take a look at both of these the Sailor King of Pen, the Visconti Homo Sapiens, these are jointly ranked at number three. Uh, well, Homo Sapiens is, you know, an extra fine. So I believe uh, a fine nib or medium would rank even higher. Uh, after these two, we have uh, at 67, um, we have Pelican M1000. Uh, again, for me, this so uh, this is not a surprise because uh, this is a bit of a surprise because I was expecting Pilot Custom Urushi to rank a bit better. Maybe I have somewhere been biased. Um, I don't know. But yeah, uh, mainly because of incapacity, wetness and all. Uh, somehow Pelican has taken the lead over here. Or if you find any issues with my ink scoring, do let me know. Uh, sorry uh, overall scoring i'm not that good at maths uh, then we have pilot custom Rushi. remember i i've a video on this that this is the smoothest pen but uh too smooth is actually not too good when you are writing with it or even if you have to carry it i've actually not taken that uh, that part in this video because uh, it doesn't matter you will when you have so many pens and all uh, you always 
have some ways to carry a couple of them around so yeah pilot custom urushi while it's too smooth it's too smooth to be really good or great and after that at uh, 64 points we have the waterman uh, did we miss anything oh sorry we missed moblong 149 um, and yep we missed this one i frankly do not miss this pen because i don't like it that much but yeah it's a moblong uh, if i have to wear it to a business meeting if i have to wear any pen to a business meeting it's always going to be moblong 149 <laughs> so that's where this pen steps in so yeah uh, in today's video we have a clear winner um, and somehow i would like to make a bit of changes uh, i would here give it nine and weight wise it's fine feedback softness yeah this this goes to maybe 65 or 66 points somewhere over here i add point fives but this is how it is it will go 64 maybe 67 that is it uh, but this pen m800 uh, from pelican is an absolute clear winner uh, i don't know if you have an 800 how well it writes but let me know your thoughts um, i know that uh, these rankings depend a lot on the piece that i have but this is how i feel about all my pens that uh, if i have to say which one is the best definitely this one is the best which one do i like to write uh, most with this one is the one so yeah so let me know uh, what you think about these rankings and uh, do you think there are better pa uh, better pens than these i would love to find out i would love to include them in uh, uh, in these comparisons and i would also love to see you uh, subscribe to my channel like this video so that i can uh, i'm you know uh, pushed to make videos more often well thank you everyone and see you in the next video